How's it going everybody? Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video. And this time around, since we just recently wrapped up our full week of ranked matches for both Jiren and Videl, I thought what better way to follow that up than to talk about everything we've learned about Season 2 since we first got these two characters. And this includes some hints as to what characters may be coming next, as well as a very rough timeline that kind of gives us an idea on when we can expect to actually see these characters. First things first though, we do have to talk about a couple major differences from Season 1 of Dragon Ball Fighters to Season 2. For starters, in Season 1, we got a total of 8 characters that were released alongside each other in pairs. So that means we got Bardock and Broly, Vegito and Fusamasu, etc. Now I do think it is important to note that Bardock and Broly came out on March 28th, and then Cooler and Android 17, the last pair, released on September 27th. So effectively, the Season Pass lasted us all the way from March to September, and that's mostly due to the fact that every two months we got a new piece of content. So it would go January, the game's released. In March, we got Broly and Bardock. In April, we got Vegito and Fusamasu. Etc. Now the reason I bring this all up is because Season 2 for Dragon Ball Fighters is only featuring 6 characters. This fact is both confirmed at the end of the new season trailer, as well as in the description where Bandai specifically states, we bring 6 more characters into the fight with Dragon Ball Fighters Fighters Pass 2. So with 2 less total characters in the overall DLC season, it only makes sense that they would want to space them out in a different way in order for the new content to keep coming out at a steady pace across the year. Originally though this was just something you would assume they would do, but some switch owners when they bought the game got an email that contained what looks to be a rough roadmap for how they plan on actually releasing these characters and if this all shakes up to be even closely true it is going to be a long road for these characters and they are going to be presented much differently than the first original eight. Up first in this email you can see the two characters that we've already got our hands on were released on the 31st of January and according to this email other than some commentator voice packs we're not going to be getting the next character until May 31st and another big thing that this email implies is that we will only be getting one character at that time. This is equivalent to only getting Bardock and then a couple of months later you get Broly. So yes, on the 31st of May we will get our third DLC character and then two months later on the 31st of July we will get DLC character number four. DLC 5 will come in September, and DLC 6 will come all the way in November. This is a huge change of pace, but it does keep it on track with that original every two month schedule. The only difference now is that instead of getting those original two characters per the weight, it appears we're only going to be getting the one. I don't think this is inherently a bad thing, it gives them more time to work on each character and make sure there's something unique, but I would be lying if I said as a fan of the game that I didn't really love getting two characters at once, it was just a lot more exciting to take them both into training mode. And one last thing that I really want to stress when talking about the DLC schedule is this is actually going to carry us into next year rather nicely. If you've been a fan of Dragon Ball Fighters for a while, you may remember that horrible time from September all the way to January where we got no news at all. We got 17 and Cooler and then that was it. We went through all of October and November with no news for Dragon Ball Fighters at all and this one will actually carry us to November and then we wait the two months, December, January, and that would bring us right around to where we are now, the start of Season 2, whether that will be the start of Season 3 or maybe a Dragon Ball Fighters 2, which does seem a little more likely with the change up and how they're handling DLC. That's more of just a conspiracy kind of thing. Usually when successful fighting games change up the way they do DLC, it usually means that they want to move on to the next iteration of their game. But that's just me thinking that, right? That's not officially confirmed or even has been hinted at. That's just something I've seen with a lot of fighting games like Street Fighter 5 is going through something very similar right now. People are expecting them to announce they're, they're moving on to a new project with the way they're handling Kage's release and stuff like that. Or hey, maybe this is just the way they want to do it now and season three will also operate in this kind of way. I should also mention that if you're worried about the two month in between character release schedule, you shouldn't worry too much. There is usually news announced about the character during that month in between. This was how it worked in season one and I don't see them changing it. For example, Bardock and Broly came out in March, but we actually first learned of their inclusion in the game back in February 17th when the V jump for that month originally dropped. And this was a trend that all characters except for maybe Cooler followed. So the TLDR version of season two is that we're getting six characters instead of eight and we will receive one character every two months and I think it's very likely that in between those two month releases we will get one month where we get information about the character coming up next. Unfortunately the longest wait is going to be the one we're experiencing right now with Jiren and Videl dropping a few days ago and now we have to wait three more months to get our hands on the next character. After that it will go back to a somewhat regular schedule. And now we can move on to the much more fun portion of the video, the actual characters being hinted at for season two. Now this hint comes from us from a picture 
of I believe the Nintendo Switch store that showed off the season full of characters, all six of them. But for every character that wasn't Jiren or Videl, we got a standard silhouette in front of a colored background. And you can see in Jiren and Videl's picture, the color behind them actually does match up with the character. And of course, it also helps to know that Gogeta Blue and Broly have also been confirmed for the season, so that instantly ticks off both the green background and the blue background, leaving us with the two unknown characters with a brown background and also a pinkish background. And of course, these are the two that most people are interested in. Now, I've seen a ton of good guesses for what the purple or pink one could be, ranging from either Kefla, Janemba, or maybe something like that, and I could definitely see that happening. It uh, definitely reminds me of Kefla. I definitely think Kefla might have a slightly higher chance, but I could also see them going with Janemba, purely because they have said that when choosing fighters for this game, they look for something that they think would be unique to a 2D fighter, and something that would be a lot of fun to mess around with in development. And I don't know, the first Dragon Ball character that comes to mind when I think interesting fighting character has to be Janemba. There's just so much you could do from him, from his sword range to his dimensional teleport ability. He's just such a cool character, and I really hope that if it turns out that this isn't him, they at least mess around with him in the future. But that's all for the pink character slot. The brown character slot is actually the one that I think a lot of people are struggling with who could actually go there. I've seen a lot of people saying it could either be Raditz or Hercule. Personally, I don't really see it being Hercule, or at least I hope it's not, because I would really like Hercule to be a joke character. But I also definitely see the issue with actually making people pay for a character like that. Uh, so I think Raditz would definitely be a lot more likely for this spot. But I don't know, even though I really want Raditz in this game, I just can't shake the feeling that I don't think they'd put him in this season. But who knows, I definitely think brown fits Raditz as a character, so hopefully they do put him in. If you have any ideas on what that brown character slot could be, or the pinkish one for that matter, make sure to let me know down in the comments because I genuinely can't think of anything else. Make sure to also let me know your thoughts on how you feel about the DLC being cut from 8 characters to 6, and everything that means for the game. While you're down in the comments, if you like these videos and want to support the channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so that you never miss out on a new video. Speaking of videos, I have a few up on your screen right now. If you missed the week of Jiren and Videl, those should be up there, so go ahead and go give those a watch if any of them catch your eye. But again, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Datsudoya. I will see you in the next one.